Welcome to this two minute talking tip brought to you by the Lou and Christy Saints Squad. Students actively involved in networking and technology. This is Timothy and Libby. And as Saints Squad members, our goal is to increase students and staff achievement by enhancing our digital literacy. We are working to establish a student centered digital culture at our school by developing the career ready skills of communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking through the use of creating content versus consuming and publishing our work versus printing. So let's get started and learn how to use Google Slides. Okay, so question number one, how do you get to Google Slides? So what you do is you have to log into a Google account. Right here? Right. Well, there. once you are logged in, like this is the account right here. You can press the little side of a Rubik's Cube icon. And, and you can hit drive. Right here? Yeah. So if you go to download, you don't have to download drive, so hit no thanks. No thank you? Okay. So it brought you right to your drive. So how you create a Google slide is you hit the red create button. Right here? Yep. Yep. Hit presentation. And this is your new presentation. So question two, what does this mean? So this lets you choose a theme. So a theme is like what color, like how, what's your color you want your theme, your presentation to be. So if you want to stick with the steps, which I think is really cool, you can stick with the steps for the whole presentation. You can change the color of the background, but it won't change the design. Whoa, totally cool. I love Trek. I'm so doing this. And then, do you push import theme? Um, you are scrolled down, and you can just double click on track. Oh, that makes so life so much easier. And then now you have your new presentation. You can start adding titles and subtitles. So do I just click? Yes, yeah, so you can add a title. So just like this. Like that? Yeah. Student life at school. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> so, say I did make a mistake like that. Would it correct it for me? Well, if you do, like, a mistake, like, let's say if you were to spell school wrong, you could, so if you were to hit the space bar, it would have an incorrect, this little red squiggly. You can go up to tools, first hit the dismiss, you can hit tools, go to spelling, and it'll give you an option. It won't automatically correct, but you can go to a setting and auto like correct it oh, cool. yourself. So change. Awesome. Life is so much easier. Whoop, fix that. So subtitle is like saying by um Saint Squad. Right? Yeah. Awesome. So now I can make a cool presentation. But how, wait, I don't want my presentation to be one page long. That's boring. Well, what you can do is you can hit the plus button in the upper left-hand corner right, right under the file. Oh, nice. And now you have a new page to start adding your information. Cool. So, say I hate the color black. Can I change the background? Yeah, once you are closed out of all your text boxes, you can hit background and it'll bring you to a whole color selection. Wow, I really love the color pink. Nice, so done? Yeah. Wow, that's like my favorite color. If you wanna keep that to all of them, you can also hit apply to all, like let's say, if you wanna make like a rainbow report, so like have the first side green, have the first side blue, have the last side purple, and so on, just keep changing the colors. No. You won't hit apply to all, you can just hit done. Nice. Okay, so what do all these little gadgets mean? So the file button, it lets you get access to all your main settings. Like you can make a copy, move to trash, you can print. You can, you can print by like just scrolling. Um, since this, you can print it right from... 
So you can print it? Cool. Yeah, you can go down all the way, except our screen is not sized correctly. So what we can do is we can... So we go back to file. It still doesn't seem to want to print, but you do have the ability to print from this window. Okay, so what does edit mean? Edit means like you can do all your cut, copy, and paste. Oh, I see now. I love doing that. It saves me so much time. And view is? View is like you can change how your presentation looks. So if you want it really big, or like you can change the animations. Like let's say if you want it to spin around before going to the next slide. Or if you want to change the size. If you want to see all the presentations on like block by block, and it can give you the time so that it can, you have zoom in and out. Um, and like HTML view, so like you can view it in just a web browser, and yeah. Awesome sauce. So insert is like adding something in, right? Yeah, you can add images, videos, word art, cool. special characters, and so on. And this is to add in slides, because is that the same thing as this plus button right here? That's for a new slide, but mm -hmm. if you want to like delete a slide, duplicate a slide, or a new slide, you can go oh, under slide. Nice. And format is? You can make stuff bold, italic, underline, like change the numbers and then d do different line spacing and format your text differently. Okay. Oh, now I know how our teacher makes exponents on our worksheets. Cool. What does arrange mean? Arrange is like you can arrange your text boxes or pictures on a page where you want them. So let's say if you want to make a picture big bowl in the center of your page. You can hit center and it'll obviously bring you to the center of your page. Whoa, nice. In tools we already did that. It's um, spelling. You can have spelling research. So if you click on research, so you don't have to open up a completely different um oh. search page. You can just search from here. So like if you were to tap on the search so button you could type anything. Lions. You can just get a quick access from the side. Would it tell me about, like, the sports team? Like, it what will. their roster is? You can scroll down. It won't tell you a roster, because this is just sort of like a skinned-down version, like, not the full Google. Oh. It just, like, stuff, like, you're not going to probably... Because if you needed um, the roster, you would probably do it in a spreadsheet, not a presentation. But... So, can I insert the picture then? Yeah, you can just drag and drop it into. Nice. And you can move it around wherever you like. Lines are boss. So, now that we know what that is, what's um, help if I need help? Help is like if you need like slides help, it could contact a Google person. Like, it would give you a chat message for like a help desk at Google. Mm -hmm. And it can. Like, if you need to report an issue, like, let's say if you're typing and it crashes, mm -hmm. it'll it'll send a little message to Google saying, this needs to be improved, and this has been crashing. So, Google can fix oh, the crashes that happen. That's awesome. I've always been, like, like, upset when my computer crashes, and then I'm like, I can't finish, and then I always get a C. I'm really upset. So, now I can contact them, and they can fix it for me. Cool. So, and these are all things to edit our text and stuff, right? Yeah. Nice. So, like, if you wanted to, um, paint, painter, like, format painter, you can click the little paint button. Whoa. Paint format. And it can, like, nice format if you have a certain object in your presentation. And, um, if you want to just present... Like if you just want to generally present, you can hit the present button, the big present button. And it'll bring you into a whole window where you can oh, present. Wow. That's cool. And then can I say exit full screen? If you um if you like if you were to hit allow, it would it'll say Google is now full screen. You can either hit escape, the little button in the corner, oh, and it'll yeah. automatically go back for you. Nice. So you, um, it has an unlimited amount of slides, so you can keep adding slides. Really? Until, like, your computer gets filled up with memory. 100 slides! Woo! <laughs> yeah. So, 
if you want to cool. share it, you can also hit the share button. And you can, you have to name presentation. Nice. And then hit save. So you can save. You have to save it before sharing. So you want to share with others. You, wor you would put an email address in there. Like so. So like let's say if I wanted student test at lcsaints.org, you can go there and send it. But for this case, we don't want to send because, and that means we can hit cancel. Cool. And if you want to share it with others, you can just, because we don't have an email address in here, so you can just hit done and it'll be stored in your Google Drive. So if you were to hit this orange presentate, this little slides home, if you were to hover over it, it would say slides home, you can click on it. Nice. And it'll um, bring you to Google Slides. Oh. So you can see your presentation right there. What if I don't want to name it lines? Can I change that? Yeah, if you open up your presentation again, um, you can hit Lions. Oh. And you can rename it whatever you want. Oh, cool. Tigers, yeah. Ooh. Cool. So back to home. So now, what if I hate it? Can I delete it? Yeah, you can delete it. What you can do is you can hit this little three button icon. You can hit remove. Oh, nice. And no presentation, so it's gone. And if you want to create a new presentation from Slides Home, you can hit the little circle plus button. Oh, nice. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. So that is all about how to use Google Presentation from the Lumen Christie Saint Squad. Thanks for watching this two minute techie tip or 12 minute and 10 second techie tip. Remember that with technology we can remove the limitations of the traditional classroom and teach and learn in ways previously inconceivable. This is Libby and Tim signing off.